Wagwan, wagwan, what's great? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chef John Morris and you're watching Morris Time Cooking. If you're new here, thank you very much for stopping by and welcome. Today, as seen in the title, I'm going to be showing you how to use your leftover rice. Yes, your leftover rice. Do not throw it out to make a delicious breakfast item as well as it can serve up for a midday snack or throughout the entire day. So if that sounds interesting, stick around. After the intro, we get right into it. We know about sardine, mackerel, chicken neck, chicken back. Nothing a waste, nothing a dash way. If you have these three ingredients at home, this is all you need. But we're going to put some wants in there, right? First up, you need your leftover rice. And we have a cup of the rice right here. Secondly, we need a little bit of flour. About a tablespoon will do. All-purpose flour. And finally, one egg and i have here a paper just so my egg doesn't roll away on this board we have one egg right and that's it for the ingredients where the need is concerned because i need these three but as i said you're on more time cooking we couldn't just give you that and that's it we're gonna up it a notch up the flavor and all that good stuff so, so we have some black pepper just a little bit nothing much we have a splash of milk not literally a splash, but about a tablespoon of milk. And I'm using almond milk. You can use your 2% milk for this one. I have here about a tablespoon and a half of onion. And I dice these up nicely. So you can dice this or grate your onion. Right? Then I have one garlic clove. Just a single garlic clove. And I chop that up nice and fine. I have some scotch bonnet pepper. I love my scotch bonnet pepper. So I'm going to be adding in a little bit of that to give it a little bit of fruitiness as well as a little bit of heat and i'm gonna top that off with some fresh parsley fresh parsley and this i'm going to be showing you two methods i'm going to be showing you the air fryer as well as oil because i know a lot of persons you go in the healthy choice and you always say chef can you show us yes i got you we're gonna go be doing this in the air fryer as well as the stove top so stick around for that and I'll show you how to get it done. So without further delay, let's get right into cooking. All right. So we're just going to hit that pan with a little bit of oil. And then to that, we're going to add our onion. We're just going to saute these off for about a minute and a half to two minutes. Just to get a little bit of flavor in them. We're going to hit that now with our garlic. Garlic in last because we don't want to burn this. And we're just going to give it another minute. So in total, about two and a half to three minutes. A touch of black pepper on there for flavor and a touch of salt not even a quarter teaspoon and we are done i'm gonna add that onion right into the rice because it's cold and that will just cool it down now i'm just gonna give that pot a pan a nice wipe just to get rid of any excess onion or garlic that may be behind with a clean hand towel so add that sauce on it in little bit of black pepper we're gonna add our flour in get our fresh parsley here just gonna rough chop that parsley and this is gonna add a nice little fresh note to everything parsley in and just give that a mix so the parsley the flour the onion and the garlic with the scotch bonnet pepper and we'll just mix that up if there's any lump in your rice, you can feel free to break them at this point. All right, I'm gonna set this to the side for now. Just gonna separate that egg yolk from the white. Just gonna add that milk into the egg. Back into our rice mixture. That milk helps to beat the egg better, right? Mix that up coat all the rice grains all right grab a hand blender if you have a hand mixer you can use that and we're just gonna beat the egg white until it's nice and stiff nice and easy you can turn it upside down that's what you want nice stiff beat and we're just gonna gently fold that in this is going to help to give this a nice golden color 
as well as to help to bind it along with the flower, right? We're just gonna fold it in gently. And you're gonna see how this changes to a nice creamy texture as we fold the egg white in. Kids will love this one. Listen, if you're enjoying this video so far and you're exciting and just wanting to know how it's gonna come out, leave a like on the video, leave a comment. You know me, I said, drop a comment, man. When you like these videos, it really helps out the channel. I know a lot of persons always reach out and say, Chef, we want to support you. That's a great way to start. You know what I say? Like the video and share it. And subscribe to the channel. That's a very important one too. Because we're on a journey, you know. We want to hit a million subscribers this year. We're currently almost at 500,000. I believe we can get 500,000 this year. Because I'm going to be putting in that work. And bring you some nice recipes in your kitchen. You understand? So subscribe and share the thing. All right, nice and ready. Can whip this up in minutes. That's the texture that you want. Beautiful texture. Spray that with a little bit of cooking spray. All right. What you can do though, you can just spoon this, drop it into the hot oil, and just use this, that same spoon to just flatten them a little bit to get them even. But I like for presentation purpose to just put these in the freezer for about 10 minutes just so they can set nicely. So now one heaping tablespoon, I'm gonna drop that right there. And these, these bind together nicely. And we're just gonna use that same spoon to just shape these out into nice circles. Not too flat, not too thick. So you're gonna go in with one heaped tablespoon for the perfect patties. Drop that on your baking tray. Now we're just gonna mold that nicely. As I said, this can be done directly into the oil. We grease the foil paper, so once we freeze them up, they will just release easily without breaking, right? Just gonna drop these in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes, and we're good to go. All right, so now I have my pan heat up. I'm gonna go in with about a tablespoon and a half of coconut oil. And I'm using coconut oil to give this a great flavor. You can use regular vegetable oil if that's what you have. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil. Again, you can mix this with vegetable oil. I'm just blending both to get that flavor going. Now we're just gonna scoop these up. Nice. And right into the oil. Beautiful. You're gonna fry three at a time. I don't wanna over, I don't wanna overcrowd this. So I'm gonna go with three at a time. So I'm just gonna fry these on medium high heat or 300 degrees Fahrenheit until we get a nice golden color on them. So about two minutes on each side. Beautiful. Flip that over. So far I turned this like two times already just to ensure that we get a nice even brown all around. Alright, so I'm gonna remove these now because I got that nice crispy brown, right? Rest that on a wire rack to just drain the excess oil. I remember now. These are still cooking even when you remove them from the pan. So you don't want them to be too brown. And there you have it. So that's a quick and easy way you can use your leftover rice to make a delicious breakfast item or a midday snack. You know what I mean? I say? Kids will love to help you make this and they'll enjoy it even more eating it. And as you can tell, these are rice fritters. I like to consider them as my rice hash brown. I'm going to be showing you the air fryer method. So what you want to do, spray your air fryer with a little bit of oil. Hopefully I have enough. There is, but it's just not spraying out. All right, so my 
spray is not working so get a little bit of olive oil on here and we're just gonna brush that this way they don't stick and right here are the ones that I made um, a few hours ago and these are from um, seasoned rice so as I was saying you can use seasoned rice the egg and the flour and that's three ingredients but I add a bit more to personalize it and to just bring some added flavor you know what I'm saying so these they come off nicely put them on the grease thing add a little bit more oil on here not even a tablespoon and we're just gonna brush each one pop them in the air fryer five to eight minutes on each side or until golden brown and you should be good Let me give one of these a try. And I'm just using good old ketchup and you can use mayonnaise. I like ketchup and mayonnaise. You can add this with anything that you usually have with your hash brown or your breakfast item. I'm going with some garlic aioli and some ketchup. Let me see what that tastes like. Mm. The crispy rice on the inside see that nice and soft inside so flavorful it's not greasy but the crunchy rice and inside just nice so don't take my word for it try it for yourself <laughs> mm -mm. so good man call it rice fritters call it rice hash brown if you, if you can't eat potato and you can eat rice, this is a great alternative. And it's a great way to go with our motto. Nothing now, yes, nothing now, dash way. Comment below and let me know how would you personalize this? What would you eat it with? You know what I'm saying? If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. So, straight from Alyssa, she's going to give an honest review on it. This is seasoned very well. Mm hmm. I like when you bite it. Butter it. rice, buttery yes, rice. But yeah. Mm, buttery rice, yeah. Yeah. I like when you bite into it, you get a hit of a hit of so many flavors, and then you get a kick of spice. The, 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 the scotch bonnet, yeah. no man. Mm. It just that subtle is, though. It's subtle, you know. Mm. It, no, man. no, the spice, the the um, scotch bonnet gives it such a Caribbean Jamaican taste. Yeah. Good. And the coconut oil fryer. Huh? This is good, and you would think that frying the rice would make it crispy. Yeah. Like hard to chew? Not at all. That's what that, so that's, so I asked for Alistair's opinion on this one. Because you know, she's mm. usually in the background giving her feedback because she's a foodie. But I'm about to take out the air fryer version and I'm going to make you test it out and let me know what you think. This is so good. Alright, so this one here is the um, seasoned rice. All right let me show everybody right now it, it holds up well so as promised two version the air fryer version right here try it out tell me you know what's cool mm -hmm. you're gonna have these as appetizers that's what i said and yes put something on it i don't know maybe like octi that's what i so i was thinking Aki. that i'm gonna make, do a remake or a nice shrimp on top or Ooh. something like an alfredo shrimp you know what i'm saying okay. Something well, nice and shrimp? creamy, yeah? Something nice and creamy. Yeah, but you can put some, um, I was thinking like, Aki, okay, you want to make it drink in Aki? Mm -hmm. Or some salt fish on top of it. Mm-hmm. Honest review on this one. Turn on my boss. Hold on. You have to bite again. Mm-hmm. It's not as flavorful as the, did you season it the same way? Same way, no, no. With this one, I did a sauté the onion, because I just wanted mm -hmm. to, I didn't do all of that oh, because I, I wanted to I'm just throw it in the air fryer. To show them what the texture would be like. Mm -hmm. So it's more it's means the texture. The texture is fine. Uh, it's fine. It, it, is it it's too chewable. crispy? It's chewable? Okay, so there you go. You, you can get it green. Green, but it's just as chewable as the other one. Okay. This is just missing spice. Needs a bit more spice. No, I didn't put I didn't put no scotch on it like that. Oh. I, I just did that one as a demo to show what it would look like. Oh. With a fright in it's the air fryer. Yeah, texture is amazing. Yeah. Okay. Texture. Um, and how the inside is the inside dry soft, because it is from the air fryer. No moist, soft and moist. 
so the air fryer version works as good but the difference with that one that we did we fry that in the coconut oil so it gives it an added flavor mm -hmm. but if you have the coconut spray you can spray the, the patties with the coconut spray and drop them in the air fryer as i said um five to eight minutes on each side or until golden brown at around 330 350 degrees fahrenheit and you have perfect rice fritters i can say rice hash brown you know what i say so there you go there you go if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up if you love what you've seen subscribe to the channel we have over 300 videos if this one did not caught your attention i'm pretty sure at least one of that 300 plus videos will get your attention and i did not bring this nice little baby to get your attention i just wanted to find out if he looks like me you may say everybody been saying it but i honestly don't see it but either way here he is you met him one time he wasn't smiling and now he's here just laughing away All right so once again you know thank you very much for watching thank you very much for the love as i said before if you're new here thank you for stopping by and welcome so until next time safe travel on the gravel and go and big up on yourself this is your official first video in the kitchen not fully when i'm cooking but you know what time it is i cannot hear my boy i mind if i'm it not true first time in the kitchen so you'll be seeing a lot more of him when he gets bigger and i'm teaching him how to cook like i did with jamir so there you go ajari you've met him in the face review but he wasn't smiling right right Yes, come. With that taste, you can't fit as well. You can't eat it. That's it right there. But you are dead just in time. This one is delicious. Mm. Like, when I went to a restaurant, mm -hmm. you try these, I'm getting appetizers all the time. Nice. Anything that you normally eat with your breakfast with your hash browns, have it that way. There you go. Try it out and come back and leave a comment leave a comment now tell us if you like what you see and come back and leave a comment after you try it out and let us know share them pictures with me on my instagram at hot underscore chef big up on yourself and go and like the facebook page because we're going to be posting a lot more over there morris time cooking follow the family channel if you want to see more of my son ajari at morris time family that's our, our family youtube channel no flow for the love until next time, see if travel party gravel and go and big up on yourself.